So sorry about that if that doesn't work so I'm just going to skip on to the next demo because I'm not, I'm probably going to get the same result to it all but well I'll try again, I'll try again, I have faith, I'll try again, see if it works. If it doesn't work this time around I'll just skip, excuse me, skip the demo. Okay, sorry if you hear my chair in the background, I mean it's a squeaky chair of that. Okay, let's try Ninja again. Maybe it's Ninja skills just aren't worthy enough to play this demo, right? Cause maybe the, this game skills aren't Ninja worthy enough uh, for this demo to play on the PS3. Maybe they are on previous platforms, but for this case, no. Right, let's see what happens. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool concept art. That is still just saying. I mean, that's a, it's really cool. Uh, okay, this doesn't seem like it wants to work, so I'm gonna have to reset the game. All right, and so Ninja is off the list for this demo. That's kind of sucks because it could have been a really good, really good demo. I just don't. I I don't know if Ninja doesn't want to play on the PS3. I think that's probably what the problem is right there. All right, power line. Yeah, you know, I noticed that the power line logo is always there now for the rest of the demos I'll be doing just on its own. I remember back in the previous demo discs, I had the white border with power line, and then they had like the. All right, so scars it is then. Please reset your console after playing this demo. Yeah, I, I think that message basically means like if you're playing this on the PS1, it's best for you to reset the console because it, it would save a lot of memory on the console. But what was I saying? Oh, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Something slipped my mind there. I, I had something, but then it just slipped. I get I get that most of the time whenever I'm trying to say something, it just slipped. Oh, Ubisoft. Vivid image. Yes, it's a very vivid image for a, vi for a vivid image. <laughs> Amazing real time 3D, 24 bit true color lighting, ink cars and tracks, and CPU opponents. Alright, there's some screenshots of this. Well, pretty good. That's a, that was a good multiplayer action, that. Oh, here's the controls. Now that's a good thing I like about this demo, it actually tells you the controls before you play it. Alright, three things I need to know are brake, accelerate... Ah, they tell you the steer in this one, very good. Switch vibration on and off or press start. Okay, well... Switch vibration on and off, well I can actually do that on the PS3 menu, but thank you for that offer anyway. But at least they actually tell you how to steer in this one. That's always a good thing. <laughs> Vivid net uploading. All right, carbon leak. I think I remember playing this game before on uh, what was it? The best racing uh, games of all time, like demo uh, or racing demo special on my two-year Q&A anniversary. I remember doing that. Uh, someone, someone, take him out. Oh, right. Pass that on to someone else. And, oh, drift around the corner. Alright, avoid that. Oh, and, oh, you know, crashed into that corner there. Oh, I could come third place if I'm lucky. Some of the texture hadn't had loaded there, I'm not sure if that's part of the game or whether that's a glitch. You could see like the blue lines there earlier or a few seconds ago. Oh, I'm last place again, that's not good. Ah, okay, crashing the walls, that's not what I want. Okay, and 
Let's keep going. Could I get in a good position? Only one way to find out. Mm, that's not good. Ah, got hit by my own weapon. Oh wow, that was a fancy trick right there. Okay, maybe that wasn't so fancy. That, that was a bit disastrous. Ah! That's not good. Oh, the music's gone. You see right there? Those textures, I'm not sure if that's... A, that might be part of the game actually, or maybe it's just a glitch. I have no idea. Oh, is that the end? Yeah, that's the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. You've had a small taste. You, for the full flavor, look out for the final release of Scars. Yeah. That's a pretty good taste of uh, the demo there, if you ask me. Oh, I didn't even need to reset it. Maybe it was just a, some advice saying, okay, you must re reset it. Okay, test drive 5 then. I remember playing, what was the last test drive game I played on the demo series? It was a UK demo 25, that's the one that I had with a croc and Parappa the Rapper on it. I remember those old, like early demo discs were really good. I'm not saying these ones are bad. They're they're okay, but I think the choice of games are a bit lacking. I think. Pitbull Syndicate. Yep. Oh yeah, I've played this as well. I think on the on the recent demo special. There's quite a few racing games on this. All right, quick race. Choose car color. Right, I'll drive in purple. It's quite a good soundtrack there. I'm tapping my fuel onto it just now. Speaking of like with my music, I've been uh, quite busy with my college course so far, and I've met quite a few deadlines already. Well, I've completed a few deadlines already. One of which is the. Uh, composition class. I finished a portfolio of compositions which I had four compositions. Uh, the first one was like a film composition for the AV department uh, at college. Like probably audio video department or art visual. I, I can't remember exactly what it stands for. Oh yeah, avoid these cars. And the second composition I had was a uh, another like commissioned piece. The first one that I did uh, for the AV department in college or art video department. Oh great. That's not what I wanted. Ah. Okay. Oh, this isn't good. Controls are here are pretty smooth. Like they're they're not like that bad. Despite the collision I had I'm still in front, which is quite surprising and I'm about to run out of time though because of that. Oh, right. Am I going the right way here? Okay, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Oh, hey, please tell me there's a checkpoint coming up. Oh, really? Oh, good. That's still good. Oh, what? It gave me 30 sec. Okay. That's a bit weird. Give me 30 seconds and yeah, it ended anyway. Oh well. Still a good demo though, but anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the second composition that I uh, produced was... No, I'm not one to view that, thank you very much. Failed, you did not finish in time. Well, I got 30 seconds, but I still should have counted, but okay. Bigger jumps, badder cars, pure racing mayhem. High resolution graphics mode. 28 license cars. Oh yeah, it just goes over the features of each uh, of them. But the second composition that I... Whoa, that was a bit... A bit loud. They're coming this Christmas. It's like, it's so impactful, you must get this game. Uh, yeah, the, as I was saying, uh, the second composition was a commissioned one as well, and that was for uh, two lecturers in the college. They play a... Uh, saxophone and piano. Uh, so World League Soccer it is then. This will be the final playable uh, demo. And 
uh, it was quite a challenge composing for those two instruments, especially coming up with a blues melody. I mean, this first time of me actually composing like a blues melody, like properly, like on uh, the Sibelius program, Sibelius Seven, and the third composition that I did was a folk composition. The first tune, uh, well, it was a folk group set, and the first tune that I had, okay, right, English, first tune was being used is being used currently for the one of the performances in the uh, final uh, group concert for the college which I feel really proud of because I mean I, I, I didn't actually think that mine would be selected since I'm not really like I mean I'm not saying I'm not a good composer I'm I'm quite good at composing but it's just I didn't think mine would actually be selected but there you go oh okay press start <laughs> thought that was a loading screen right okay so which one will I go? I'll go Brazil for this one. Alright, Brazil. There's a coin toss. Okay, start game. And the final composition that I just uh, uh, finished, like along with my brother, um, uh, we were uh, composing something together, was a composition based on okay right how do I sprint okay that was a uh, crowd going like oh that was a bad tackle I don't care <laughs> I know I'm playing against Scotland but uh, like my own like home team but still uh, I'm still playing as Brazil anyway because why not alright uh, oh it's X to kick it okay How do I run faster? Alright, R wants to switch players, I think. But yeah, the final composition that I uh, finished on with my brother was a pop kind of composition uh, that I uh, helped like put the clarinet melody in. And uh, my oh, thank you for giving me that goal, goal kick. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the old uh, FIFA games. This. Except the FIFA games actually look better than than what what this lo looks like. Oh, uh, pass. Where is this gonna go? Oh, it goes off. Okay, throw in. But yeah, I think it's a pretty catchy tune and or a pretty catchy song, and I'm glad I um I was able to work with my brother on this. Uh, um. So acknowledgement to him for uh, recording the backing track and the uh, uh, okay, I don't know what that noise is in the background. Probably the fanfares. Sounds like an ambulance. Someone really been injured. The ambulance has had to come along. Wouldn't be surprised because of my bad tackling that I've been doing in this. Okay, I'm not sure what the high pitch noises are, but they're kind of weird. Right, maybe they're just like uh, the the uh, what do you call them? A football matches. I have no idea. Oh, that, okay, that guy was running very slow for some reason. Okay, at least they're not as annoying as the. Uh, I remember playing. What was it? Uh, Actua Power or wait, was it Power Soccer? Yeah, I think it was Power Soccer on Demo 1 version 4. Well, that game was annoying because the controls really weren't good and the... the and the high pitch noises as well, like when you're going to score the goal. Don't know why that was put in there or whether the demo wasn't finished yet. Okay, I think we're near the end of the demo because we're at uh, half time. So, there's been no scores. I was about to say until now, but no, the guy didn't score. Yep, it's over. Nil no, nil. No. So, uh, who had the most possession? Well, Scotland did. Okay, that's still. Right, that's weird. Oh, that was weird. The high push noise was still going. 
Very weird way to end the demo, but anyway, now it's video time, so everybody's golf. Now this is a this is a golf game that was a, like exclusively made by Sony. Uh, I think everybody's golf was a. I'm not sure how popular the game was. But let's see what the video is. Ever never. I can't even see the text on there. Uh, I'll probably be able to read it on the computer. Best golf game on PlayStation. Well, at the time it would have been the best golf game. In fact, it still could very well be the best golf game on the PlayStation. That sounds like the Net Yaros theme that plays when you. It is. That is the Net Yaros theme that that plays. Like when you're viewing the advert. Masterpiece. An ideal back from the pub game. Let's say back from the pub, did they say? Okay. Simply enjoy the play. Alright, everybody's golf. Uh, you see, the, the golf game looks pretty good. Oh, it's out now. Well, of course it is. It had been out for ages. Alright, the next video is Spyro the Dragon, so... Not sure what this video is going to look like. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll probably just show off the levels uh, that that has been covered in the Let's Play so far that I've been doing, so Spyro the Dragon. Right, the next thing after this is the making of Medieval, and I'm not sure how long that one's going to be, but we'll see. Oh, this one's quite old. Oh. Yes, the music from the title screen. That's a very low resolution video, this one. Oh, there's a one of the flight levels which I probably couldn't do um, but if I were doing 120% less play on this I, I would definitely do those levels but since I couldn't I wouldn't be able to do it and uh, yeah they were showing off sparks quite a lot there Spyro the Dragon is still a classic game I mean it's uh, it's my first proper time like playing the Spyro games like this year or last year but uh, it's a classic game, I mean, it's really enjoyable. Would I say it's better than Crash Bandicoot? Well, I would probably say... It's hard to say, actually, whether it's better than Crash Bandicoot. I haven't, well, well if I know, I can't actually say that yet until I've actually played the... Oh, the Mooning, yeah, of course. <laughs> they had to show that off. This is a pretty good video package here for the, the game. Oh, is that, is that the end? Oh, that's the end of the video. That was quite quick. At least I think it was. It might have probably just passed by uh, quite slowly when viewing it, but... Alright, anyway, back to the demo menu. Alright, the making of Medieval is up next. I'm not sure how long this is going to be, but I'm probably not going to talk a lot during this. So, making a medieval. I thought it would be quite interesting to see or hear about how they've made the game. I think medieval is going to be on the next demo disc I'm going to be doing, actually. That's like a pendulum clock there. Oh, it's only computer entertainment Europe presents. Oh, 
Oh, this, we're probably where they got the. Oh, 